Hello friends, welcome back. As a part of Python on phone programming series, in this video we are going to develop a restaurant management system on our mobile phone. So on your mobile phone when you run this application it will show you couple of options like uh, show menu, add item or order item and you can, even you can give ratings as well. Okay, so let me show the output first and then I will show you the program. So on my left side, I have a uh, terminal where I will be running the program and on the right side, sorry, on the right side, the terminal on the left side, the source code. Okay, so I will explain the source code in a minute, but let me show the output. See, as you see here, when you run the program, the first time we will see a menu like this super famous restaurant and it will have five options. The option one for showing the menu and option two for ordering the items and three for add item that means you are a hotel i mean the restaurant admin and you wanted to add few more items to the menu so that time you can choose option three and the fourth option for giving the rating to any particular item and finally a fifth option is from exiting from the program okay so let me show the menu first by choosing option one see here so we have 10 items in the restaurant and you can see uh, we are showing the name price and even the rating as well this is pretty cool right and uh, even if for example user wanted to order the item then he can choose option two okay now we need to give the id id of the item that we want to order let's say something like i want to order one chicken biryani and so we need to give comma to separate the items okay and let's say we need one mutton biryani and one soft drink which is 10 okay now hit enter see here so what do we get we get the total bill as well so the properly uh, displayed uh, bill here id chicken biryani quantity is one amount is 200 and everything i mean so we got the total amount as well okay so similarly okay similarly if you want to add item in the menu we can choose option three here okay so let's choose option three okay so i think i am not able to show you uh the one thing let me uh, type the item we want to add let's say what we want to add uh let's say uh let me take uh, some fruit salad okay the fruit salad i'm just typing okay name has been entered and the price let's assume that it is uh, 50 rupees okay it's a uh, veg or non-veg it's a vegetarian item boom so you can see here we got a message saying that item has been added okay how can we verify that the item is added or not you can choose option one and then see if the item is added or not see you can see here the 11th item has been added and the price is 50 rupees and the default rating is five star because this is the first i mean this is a newly added item right so that's why the by default uh, the rating will be five now let's say you want to give rating to any one of these uh, items in the menu okay so my, we just have tried chicken biryani right and let's see uh, let's give the rating by choosing option four and after entering option four it will ask for uh, ask us to enter the id of the item to which we want to give the rating let's say uh, i want to give rating uh, for chicken biryani which is option one and let's say i mean just let's say that today we don't like the biryani so i will give rating one so see here so option four we gave and item id we gave and next uh, we gave our rating which is one rating we have given and after that we got the thank you message so if you want to verify that i mean whether the rating is uh added in the system or not because currently the overall rating is four but we gave one rating there should be some change in the rating right overall rating let's see that option one choose here see the chicken biryani rating has been drastically changed that means there are there might be only few customers so uh, only few ratings because 
we gave one rating it has come down to two now let's give one more time and then see uh, uh what will happen okay so again i will choose option four and one this time i will give four rating to this chicken biryani now let's see uh what is the output yeah so after giving the fourth rating we got uh, a three rating here so that's because i mean we are basically doing an average of the ratings okay what we are doing we can see in the program but this is the complete uh, restaurant management uh, system application guys okay so if you want to add any more features to that uh, please feel free to do that i will be sharing the source code with you all okay so you can copy this code you can modify it you can do whatever you want okay so you don't need to worry about anything here okay so coming to the code okay so coming to the code the only one thing we need to remember is the data the initial uh, menus or items data of the restaurant are stored in a file called menu.json that means we are using a json file to store the data okay so that's why so let me show you that so this is the file menu.json okay so where is that file so you need to give the complete path on your mobile phone so on my mobile phone i have this qpython folder my programs inside that i have that uh, json file so you need to give the correct path where your file is residing otherwise uh, this program will not work okay so this is the first thing i mean important thing you need to remember when you are running this program other than that uh, everything will work as usual okay we need not to worry about anything uh, one more thing we need to remember is when you run the output program right sometimes uh, i mean most of the times okay because of your mobile resolution you may not uh, see the clear format as i have shown you in my uh, result okay so let me show you sometimes what will happen with the low resolution mobiles so you can see here right so this is this is pretty clear show menu order items and everything so when i choose option one for displaying the items see here the rating has been like uh, it is it is here here in the running right so it is not i mean aligned properly okay that's because of the mobile uh, screen size and all so you can just ignore it guys but actually when you run this program on your computers right so you will get to see the proper output okay so i'm just telling this because uh, you might get confused why uh, i am not uh, able to see the ratings properly here okay so that's a different story okay so th this is how uh, this uh, restaurant management system works okay so what we have done in this program uh, let me show you so we have imported json uh, library that's because we are using a json library and the json file and for loading that json file we are using json library here okay so first thing first the entire data will be loaded into uh, data variable and after that from there okay from there uh, i am reading the items from that uh, json file let me show you how that file looks so in my my programs i have that file oh sorry I open something else so here it's uh, my json file okay so you can see here so in the json file i have a items key and value as a list of uh, items okay so we are basically reading this entire file and loading this list into a variable okay so you can see here see here all the items are there so you can see the reviews uh it's so only one review it got so which is four rating here okay so something like this if the customer gives rating right so that will be added to this file i mean to this uh, particular array here but anyways so when you go back to the program where is the program name yeah rms western management system okay so after loading the data into items okay variable here uh, we have defined the infinite loop and inside the infinite loop uh, we have these uh, couple of print statements to display that banner with the super famous restaurant and the options okay so after that we are uh, taking the input the choice i mean option choice from the user 
so based on the choice we are performing the op um, operation here so if user chooses one that means he wanted to see the entire menu so we are uh, doing the same thing here okay when user chooses option two uh, this is basically for ordering the item okay it's not like only one item at a time user can order multiple items at a time with multiple quantities as well guys okay that's the beauty of this uh, project so let me show that as well on one time so option two i will choose okay so let's say something like i want uh, two chicken three chicken biryanis okay and let's say because i know the ids of them so i'm uh, random i mean i'm giving without uh, checking okay so let's give one soft drink see here see if you see right i have ordered the three chicken biryanis because three ones i have given and two chicken kebabs we got the correct quantity two here and even two mutton biryanis and one soft drink which is 30 rupees and finally we got the total bill here guys see price is 200 quantity three so which means a chicken biryani amount is 600 rupees so we have individual amount for each item with the quantity and finally we have the final bill as well okay so this is a pretty cool project okay so try to run this program on your mobile okay and even if for ex uh, by any chance if you have a laptop uh, access you can run there as well okay so i will be sharing the source code with you all okay so if you have any doubts please uh, feel free to mention the comment section below and if you like this video do not forget to subscribe our youtube channel I will meet you in the next video with another cool project uh, which you can run on your mobile phones. Okay, so till then, take care.